Hey buddy, it's Invicta. It's time for random tainted greedier mode. Well, you all were saying, oh, we're never gonna get to see greedier mode because it's not fun for some Invicta, blah, blah, blah. Well, here you go. You got random tainted greedier. Can't wait to see how this one goes. But first off, here's your amazing artwork slash picture of the day it sent it in sent in by Daniel. Uh, there was no thread, obviously, because it wasn't posted on the Invicta subreddit, but basically he said that he's been a fan for five or six years now and is also a guitar player, wanted to ask for my permission to put the logo on his playing hand. I said, sure, go for it. And I, it, this result blew me away because I can't, I've never seen the logo look so good. So really, really awesome stuff, Daniel. I'm honored that you would even do that. And uh, again, thank you very much, S sincerely. I can't wait to, uh, can't wait to see it in a music video one day. So all right, here we go. Tanted, taint, tanted, yeah, tanted. Down here, call that a tanted greedier. Uh, you all know who I'm playing before I do, and we are playing as tainted Judas in greedier. Oh boy, this day is gonna be Mike Bravo Golf Yankee uh, One Two Northern Lions. So tainted Judas, tainted Judas with dark arts is, uh, you know, he's, yep. It would be a lot better if we end up having the old version of Dark Arts, obviously. Um, I mean, a half price key, I can't go wrong. We might, we, we might even buy two half price keys. So, uh, but yeah, you know, Tainted Judas is, is not a bad character. Um, he just can't get any, he basically just can't get any strength or anything from uh, Dark Arts, unfortunately, but he can't go through curse rooms, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we're glad that we uh, did that here game as we're starting off with Marbles and Little Chad. Two items that uh, aren't necessarily going to be the best things in sliced bread for us, but hey, you know what? That's that's greedier, baby. And we've already lost one of our soul hearts. Good, really, really good stuff. So the old version of Tainted Judas used to be, used to give you a stacking damage buff uh, that would persist for quite a while, depending on how many how many projectiles and enemies you ended up going through. Um, he still does have that, except it's what on earth? Except that it doesn't. It doesn't give you that, it, it doesn't stack as much damage as it used to anymore. So I don't know what is going on with this head turret over here. So basically you're still incentivized to hit as many targets as possible to get that stacking damage up as fast, as, as high as possible. But the thing is that it doesn't last as nearly as long. So there's incentive there, but you've also got to be careful, especially if you end up coming out of the dark art state too early, or like if you accidentally fire or something like that. And that will also knock out of the dark art state and it's not necessarily the best thing in the world it used to be great when the damage buff used to last a lot longer i mean tainted juice was was unstoppable um but as for some things that they do in this game uh if it's too powerful then we'll just nerf it because it can't be too powerful not in a not in a single player roguelite no 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 we don't want that now that's <laughs> what game you do and you think this is risk of rain Dodging, dodging dingles left and right here. You wanna, you wanna be aggressive with the with dark arts, but not overly aggressive to put yourself in a bad in a bad spot. Get 13 cents, so it's the that's the quote fun thing about uh, about uh, greedier mode is that you basically just do greedier mode if you want to play greed but have less fun because. It spawns more champion enemies and essentially gives you more, it gives you less damage or it, sorry it gives you less money per wave and then there's also of course the added difficulty of giving yourself a um, you know, a harder greedier boss too so there's a phase two greedier vulture greed and he's uh he's not fun he's very there there's nothing let's put it this way there's nothing fun about greedier why am i doing this well just because that's what the mosh pit wanted to see they they people were saying oh we're only gonna ever get to see random greed modes well, now you got random greedier. So, I did I did my part, Mosh Pit. Now time to time to do your part for today. Once again, asking for your assistance in becoming an algorithm champion here on YouTube. Small price to pay. You see you see how fast the uh, the damage buff stacks there. If you have a good cluster of enemies. But again, you don't want to get too you want, you don't want to get overly aggressive with it. You just have to be very mindful of your positioning. I definitely don't like being on one HP right now. So another thing about tainted tainted Judas is that he cannot have red hearts. So us having a little Chad doesn't really matter. 
Um, unless we get like something that can reroll stuff on the ground, like the D20, which we probably will never ever see because, well, D20 got nerfed to all hell in, in greedier mode and greed mode. Because again, can't have, can't have players having too much fun. Gemini goes down first. Now we have little Steven and big Steven. Had to wait for that little shot to go by there. Dark Arts was coming up anyway, so I, I, I wasn't too much of a, in a bind there. And uh, we can go into, I mean, we can go in here and maybe get something that gives us something, but I highly doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't take it. So even the, and this is the most insulting thing is that even if we hadn't taken any damage at all uh, in this, in this room, we still wouldn't have been able to get a devil deal. So, because that would have put us only at three hearts. Uh, we can go, we can use, we can buy another half price key to get two bombs here. I'm not going to use the other key because we need, we need it for the next floor, but let's see here. We got ourselves death card. This is a pretty good value here. Three, three cents for essentially two bombs. Yeah, that's good. We could go buy another half price key just to kind of future proof our our next floor. I think not not the next floor, but the floor after. I think that's a good idea. Load up on a couple of uh of half price keys. So you gotta you gotta think about all the costs, the future costs. Okay. So let's go check out our item room. It's going to be Ouija board, which is going to give us a nice tears up and halo. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. What is that face? <laughs> Isaac, we're going to need to talk about your face, buddy. All right. So take squeezy. Cause that's just an automatic no brainer. Um, finger bone for three cents is interesting. Get a Yara rune. Okay, so Yara makes this very, very enticing now. We we are we are heavily heavily incentivized to leave all the money on the ground as much as possible for this rune. Because we get to we basically get to double everything. So that's that's big time big. That's huge. It's huge but huge face. Bro, chill yourself. I'm sure if we were gonna get hit by that. And we want to get these. We want to get the stony out of here. Yeah, okay, we did that. Thank goodness. You're seeing here, even with the Yara room, we're not going to make that much extra money just because that's just that's just how greedy it works. You just get less money for doing the exact same thing you would on any other greed run. That's unfortunate that we don't have like sack of pennies or something like that. I use dark arts there just to avoid all the explosions. And again, I'm trying not to pick up any money. I don't believe that we have yet anyway. A sloth is going to blow everything around here, so it's going to be difficult to avoid. Avoid picking up coins, I mean. I'm gonna Yara now because I have a feeling that we're probably we're probably gonna lose some some money here. That and I can't I can no longer try to dodge the coins while also trying to dodge champion or uh, uh, Chub and uh, Sloth. So I'm just making it a little bit easier and safer on Judas here. Actually, surprised Sloth lasted that long. But essentially, like we were we were forbidden to cross like halfway through this entire level just because of all the coins. Um, just trying to maximize our value here with the with the Yara rune, so. There we go. Good damage there. Good. We've got a decent amount of money now. 46 cents is going to be pretty pog. Um, we might as well take the finger bone, I guess. Ooh. 
He put M in front of me, and now we now we got ourselves a party. Um, man, that's tempting. We don't have an active item right now, though, is the thing. But it could roll us into something incredible. But that means that we also have to... We would also have to get an active item to begin with. So, yeah. A text from Mama Victor. I was making sure everything was okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It would require us to get an active item, which we don't currently have, and I don't know if I would like to spend any money on an active item that I'm not going to end up keeping. Does that make sense? Like, let's say, for example, that we find like the that we find like the crystal ball or something, right? And uh, we like, hey, that's going to be good. That's great. It's going to cost us 15 cents, whatever. And then we have M. And it's like, well, I kind of want to hold on to the crystal ball. So I have more reasons to not take M than to take M. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to catch the projectile as much as we can. Somehow, inexplicably, we've been able to, to DPS both Peep and Monstro at the exact same rate. I don't know how we end up doing that, but, but we do. Um... Yeah, for three. I mean, that that's essentially we're gaining ten cents if we want to try to equate that back into soul heart form. I think we just go on down to the next floor because without re rolls, I mean, this. this oh. Gonna put it. I I no no I'm not allowed to do that. We don't have a bomb. No, even though I know this is a two of diamonds thanks to the information mod, I would not have been able to to check that. Um, at least I don't think so. Would I have been able to look at that? No, I would have had to have. I would have had to buy that. I would have had to have bought tarot card or tarot cloth and then look for like a bomb or something or, or hangman. So no, we ain't gonna do that. We're gonna get to our questions of the episode from last week on the tainted Lazarus episode. Um, sure. So the question I said was, uh, who is your least favorite tainted character of all in, in all of Isaac and why? And the most upvoted, by far the most upvoted comment was from Soda FT 9625, who I think we've read many comments for. I think, I think the same people keep showing up because like they get their first questions in or their first answers in. So that's, you know, that's pretty amazing. Um, but they said my least favorite is Tainted Cane. The nerf to the bag crafting definitely killed the character for me. And I, hey, I'm, I'm right with you there, brother. Bag of crafting going down is, uh, you know, that is, what can you say? <laughs> um, the other one that was upvoted here was from Kamaki Kiri Sabine. Let's say Kama. Uh, and they said, uh, Tainted Loss is both my favorite and least favorite all, of all time. At the same time, forcing me to forcing me to fix my skill issue, but annoying and painful to play. Again, right there with you. As we get Magic Mush here. We could take Mama Mega, but I don't think that's really worth it. I think Glass Eyes is going to be better for more damage. And we are maxed out on... We're maxed out on movement speed, so we do not need more movement speed. E1 Hizzle and Blue Cap. Maxed out on Tears Rate as well, so we really don't need that. Um... Seven cent eye drop, I guess, and seven cent seven cent growth hormones, absolutely incredible. I got the curse room here real quick, and look at that—we got some more HP here. Then finally, uh, uh, now Mocha uh, had the third most upvoted comment, and they just simply said Jacob and Esau. I don't know if they meant tainted Jacob and Esau, or tainted Jacob, or just Esau and or like the main character. But either way, I'm with you on that one. Um, you know, regular. Regular tainted, a regular Jacob and Hee are just a chore to play, and I, and everyone knows that tainted Jacob is by far my most hated character in this game. I'd play the tainted lost a thousand times before I play tainted Jacob again. Tainted Jacob is single-handedly one of the one of the characters that is preventing me from wanting to ever do like a reset save file run. Just because I do not feel like ever playing him ever again. I'll play him obviously if we if we random him. I know that we have a member of the Mosh Pit who's counting down the days of, of asking for, for us to play Tainted Jacob. But I can tell you right now that it's it won't happen for 
it won't happen for like it like maybe it may be a sub goal like you have to understand how much i absolutely hate tainted jacob like if you don't understand by now you should um just it, it's it, it embo tainted jacob embodies the things that i hate the most about about cheap mechanics in this game you know it, it's it completely one shots you it's cheap damage you know you basically you can get you can get insta gibbed by the by it's, it's his own mechanic the 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 one shot dying is the thing that i hate the most it's it i mean tainted jacob is the ultimate gimmick character is what i've, I've coined them and uh, i really strongly strongly dislike playing that character so i don't know if uh if now mocha meant uh meant tainted jacob or not or if if they just meant uh, regular Jacob and Hee Haw, but we'll just say we'll just say nobody likes Tainted Jacob and and Jacob and Esau. There's some people who do like to play Jacob and Esau, I guess. But I like to have fun with this game. As much as I can. Empty vessels is empty vessels essentially free. Um, and we have enough we have enough fire rate to make Little Horn work. For a proc rate. Earth hormones for sure. That range and luck is fine. We'd get a soul heart out of that. Raw liver is going to give us two HP. And we don't want ball in. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, we're maintaining a very healthy amount of HP despite taking Devil Deal items, but Magic Mush is a huge help here. Now this is going to be this is going to be a struggle later on against ultra greedier i mean we're going to be in in the fight of our lives here so like we cannot get complacent now just because we're we're looking strong in the early in the early goings um no <laughs> skipping this entire floor is i dare say not a good idea juicy sack now juicy sack ain't bad uh, juicy sack ain't bad y'all say the say the hell with uh, all those troll bombs there but way to start off this floor that's an eye laser now, I will also say that the empty vessel is going to be a pretty big deal however one thing okay one thing I will also say is that because we're playing Tainted Judas, it's very difficult to see when the shield is wearing off. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened in this floor, but we. Okay. Game is literally pulling out all the tricks on this floor here. So we have we have empty vessel right now. Empty vessel shield that is. Okay, juicy sack doing doing the Lord's work here, slowing down Monstro. Monstro two. Uh, that was not good. That was not a good. I will take champion belt because it is more damage. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big price to pay though, for it's it's damage, right? It is damage for sure. Um, it's just not, it's not what I would say a premier damage upgrade would be at this point, like a cricket's head or polythemus or even ease mascara. I would take. I wonder where you were. Okay, the, the beeping, if, if you're wondering why I'm, I'm walking forward and getting hit a lot, is because I'm hearing the beeping of Isaac's tier, of tier detonator and thinking that it's Dark Arts. That, right there. I'm going to pass on both.
are running out of floors now, and we've got to get our HP under control here. I would also really love to just to get rid of tear detonator so I don't have to deal with the audio cue of uh, dark arts anymore. And lump of coal, lump of coal with this damage would scale insanely well. Um, buy a key, and we get hallowed ground, which is. I think lump of coal should be good. I'm really, I'm really bummed that we don't have more tier effects though. Like, uh, I mean, I'm, I know we have little horn, but I would want more than that. I do want more than that. I don't know which one of you is spouting out brimstone, but why are there sisters of this is here? Excuse me? Why is the sister miss part of the regular uh, mob rotation? This is not a boss wave game. And they are throwing everything in the kitchen sink at us right now. I didn't even see that spider there. Bro. Wow, they threw literally everything that they could possibly have in one round of waves there. Single adversary, not double adversary. It'd be cool if you could Dark Arts Brimstone and get like a massive like, or, or maybe like Steel Brimstone, wouldn't that be cool? Trying to utilize the blue fire here as much as I can. Yeah, crap is fucked. Maybe we'll get Lumba Cole for free. We did. Wow. Uh, I was going to say, well, <laughs> surely we can't be that lucky. <laughs> well, here we are. Uh, no. No, the thing is, is that, like, we could drop two coins. Pickups can be replaced with other variants of golden, golden keys, nickels, dimes. I guess... I'll try it. Question mark. Okay. Our font is good. Sun card do again. 1.5 damage. That's for one floor. I mean, that gives us that gives us bone hearts. Actually, no, it wouldn't give us any bone hearts. It would just give us it would just give us a damage upgrade for the ultra greedier fight. So, um, yeah, we have one more floor to go. We got to hope for some big upgrades. Yeah, there is a reroll pedestal. It's good. One thing is, I was a little bit apprehensive about. And I really don't want to take Red Candle, but it's so much better than your Detonator. Get Birthright. I don't think I've ever seen Birthright on, on Tainted Judas. And again, if I have, I don't remember. People were saying that I have gotten uh, Birthright on last week's video. Um, they, they were saying that I have actually gotten uh, birthright on Tainted Lazarus before, I just don't remember, so go figure on that. Okay, we got, uh, got Empty Vessel proc right now, so...
great block by that by uh red candle on that uh, big champion shot right there the great block This will proc again. Good. All right. Well, let's just see what Birthright does on Tainted Judas. Supposedly, it uh, increases the range, I guess, of Dark Arts activating. So that means I don't know, but. Now, what would be really cool is that if it gave us more of a damage bonus, like if it reverted back to the old uh, Dark Arts ways, that'd be cool. I have no clue how many shots that just was. Let's hope that we can re-roll into a soul heart, I guess. Or find a soul heart. Couple bombs, okay. More likely than not, there's not going to be a secret room on this floor. Could be one there. Could be one here, that's about it. So at this point we just need to look for um HP or look for a really good tarot card that's better than the sun card yeah I think we just take HP here I think that's the I think that's the only that is the only answer so we get two more soul hearts Get to go into the ultra greedier fight with a full full rack of hearts and um uh, yeah it's gonna be brutal but uh here's to hoping that i don't think the sun card screws over black judas it just gives him nothing but bone hearts if it if it does i don't remember i guess we're gonna find out is it worth the 1.5 damage though Okay, so I don't know if it's going to reduce all of our hearts down to one or not, but we'll find out. It's really not worth the risk, to be honest. I'll use it after the fight. How about that? All right. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's do it. Probably should have looked at the time for Empty Vessel. We're going to try to take advantage of that damage bonus we can out of Dark Arts as much as possible. Empty Vessel is procced. Got some damage out of him, out of uh, Alla Ground. Uh, ex he he like he threw us while we were in the Dark Art state and put him put us against the wall and was whirlwinding on us. That's definitely a new one. Apparently, his hitbox is really crazy when he's whirlwinding. Uh, 
Remember, this is only phase one. These dark arts there just to avoid the explosions. Okay, we got him before the keys went off. Here comes round two. Got to pick up these coins, otherwise he heals off of them. I know he's going to turn to fire this way. I'm just waiting to use dark arts on that. Really need to drop the golden deep pockets because it's just creating things for us. Creating things for him. done it down goes tainted judas ultra greedier is done man that is that is rough let's see if it does indeed take away your hp or not awesome. just doesn't do anything it just gives you damage okay so we could have had an extra 1.74 damage but hey now we know i was pretty sure that's how it was going to work but also at the same time i'm like mm, there's always that one little tinge of of doubt of uncertainty in there so Either way, I'll take it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great start to your Sunday here in the Mosh Pit. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. And of course, today's question of the day is simply going to be which of the tainted characters do you like the most? We're going on the polar opposite from last week, so put them in the comments down below. Remember, the most upvoted comments will be read on next week's episode. And thank you very much for all the support, everybody. We had a great week of runs. Let's go into this new week with an even greater week. And as always, I'll see you all next time until then so long everybody thanks for watching this video like thanks to patrons of mine like rage god 91 and ham solo if you'd like to have your name read at the end of an isaac episode or get your hands on one of those exclusive sinvicta keychains then go head on over to patreon at patreon.com slash sinvicta 